What's up guys, this is Warpath Extreme, I am back with another video. I know it's been a month since I, it's been over a month since I last did one. It's also been a month since I did the last Warpath rant. So here I am with my sixth Warpath rant. This time I'm going to be covering a rant on video games that were released by a company called LJN, a steaming pile of hot buttered garbage, a hot buttered garbage company that had a very bad reputation in video games, but a good reputation in the toy industry until they closed their door, until they closed their toy division in 1989. But let me tell you something, most of the bad, crappy games that LJN made were for the Nintendo system. Yeah, games like Dr. Jackal and Mr. High, games like Beetlejuice, uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, uh, Major League Baseball, Gotcha, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th. And all, and all, and yeah, you guessed it. Spider-Man: Return of the Sinister Six, and Super Nintendo games like Terminator 2: Judgment Day. <laughs> Not the arcade game, the Terminator 2: Judgment Day. Period. And Spider-Man and X-Men: Arcade's Revenge. Even those are garbage. And yes, even Warlock. Only a very few that are any bad on the Super Nintendo. But there are a few. But most of them, but like I said, most of the NES, most of the LGN games are from the NES console. So yeah. <clears throat> if I were you, I wouldn't, yeah, other, of course, other games like Jaws. Yeah, who could forget that awful game? Who wants to play LJN games? I wouldn't. Would you? I mean... I mean, bad controls. I mean, bad graphics, bad music. That's just terrible. And, oh yeah. The uncanny, even the uncanny X-Men and the Karate Kid. Yeah, those games are garbage. <clears throat> yeah. The uncanny X-Men, even, even if you're playing a one-player mode, the CPU feels the need to join the fun. And the controls are terrible. There, of course, there are only six characters that play that goes around shooting lasers, and of course, there are only in the second half there are characters that, including Wolverine, that just goes around nudging everything. It's like he's like he's in the same position as he, as he is walking; he just jabs forward. Yeah, LJN did have a pretty good reputation in the in the toy business, especially with the WWF wrestling hard rubber stand-up figures like Hulk Hogan and Big John Studd, Rowdy Roddy Piper, etc., Andre the Giant, Superfly, Jimmy Snuka, and the list goes on and on. Yeah, that that's very consistent. That's the thing. Uh, LJN had a good reputation in, t in the toy industry, but a bad reputation, but a bad reputation in video games. That's right. I'll say these titles again. NES games like uh, WWF King of the Ring, WWF Steel Cage Challenge, uh... 
Jaws, The Karate Kid, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Alien 3. Of course, the Super Nintendo version is much better than the NES game. Alien 3 on the NES is far from being the worst, but still bad enough to be bad. Mediocre at best. But, I, but other games that are worse, like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, The Karate Kid, I said The Karate Kid, Beetlejuice, etc. They, they even made an NES accessory called the Rollin' Rocker, which is the biggest crap, which is the biggest pile of horse manure ever. A pile of horse maneuver and a horse manure and ice cream sprinkles. Other games like the Uncanny X Men and Spider Man Return of the Sinister Six and so on and so on and so on. Why would you want to play LJN? Of course, they even made even thing anything even more worse. LJN even had its own gaming console that but it only involves art. The LJN Video Art. Yeah. The I said it. The LJN Video Art. They did. They only put two cartridges, and they both involve video art. Yes, video art is garbage. Stay away from LJN games, for the most part. There are some good games for, mostly for the for, mostly for the Super Nintendo games like True Lies and others like WWF Super WrestleMania, a decent game. WWF Raw Rumble, a good a gr a gr a good game. WWF Raw, an even better game. Of course. You know what I'm saying. NFL Quarterback Club 90 NFL Quarterback Club, the of course the original one. And Spider Man Maximum Carnage, also starring Venom. It's so forth. I mean, what were they thinking? What was LJN thinking about doing all this crap? <laughs> oh my god. Why does why does it have to be LJN? I mean, how could they possibly ruin their legacy and ruin their company, their own company name, by actually making game most games with bad emulation, bad controls, and it's bad everything, and then release it and charge money for it? But yeah, they actually did. See, there you go. That's that's how I feel about LJN games. For the most part, they're terrible. Yes, absolutely terrible. Even the Game Boy games are guilty of the same problem. Like WWF Superstars, for instance. W LJN did exist a few decent Game Boy games, like WWF Superstars, of course. Most there, most there are there. Uh, Video games that LJN released for the Game Boy are also crap, too. Even their own get versions of NES titles. So, if I were you, I'd leave most of LJN alone, except for games like Maximum Carnage, True Lies, the 16-bit WWF games, and what else? Except maybe for Warlock. It's impossible. It's garbage, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
So yeah, LGN for the most part is garbage. And that concludes my sixth Warpath rant. This time covering LJN video games. So if you don't forget to like or dislike the video, turn on notifications, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about it. Also don't forget to follow over also don't forget to check me out on Facebook and follow me on Daily Motion. So until then, this is Warpath Extreme saying keep the war going. And don't forget to tune in next time as I talk about more about video games involving the Retrobit Generations versus the Super Retro K. Again, I'm Warpath Extreme. I'll see you later.